Well, we're learning more on the passing of developer Scott Wolstein. He died yesterday at the age of 69. Wolstein and his family's companies developed shopping centers around the country and hundreds of projects right here in Northeast Ohio. Mark Namick joining us now live with a closer look at one project that helped shape Wolstein's legacy and helped reshape Cleveland's riverfront. Mark, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Jay. Anybody that's as old as me might remember the old flats, which was rowdy and crowded. And getting to that riverfront was difficult because of a wall of buildings that required a cover charge to get into that back patio. Scott Wolstein helped change that. Building on his father's legacy, Wolstein became the driving force behind the remade East Bank of the Flats, adding a public boardwalk, dining and restaurants, an office tower and hotel. Weinstein and his partners, which included his mother, Iris, pulled it together amid a global recession, relying on hard-fought public and private deals. Speaking last September to Channel 3, he looked back on that accomplishment. I know some people miss the old flats. I mean, it had a little gritty industrial feel. It was kind of fun. That's where I, you know, grew up, but um, we really wanted to open up the flats to the river. When I brought my friends from Chicago to Cleveland and I showed them the project and we walked them along Old River, and they all said, gee, why can't Chicago develop their riverfront like Cleveland? <laughs> and uh, I was very, very proud. Now, the, the East Bank has grown since then, and last year, Wolstein refinanced the project, which was still struggling and relied on public and private dollar deals to make things work and he set that up for the future and I think we're going to see some more of that development in the coming months Jay yeah we certainly hope so it was a high profile project that drew so much attention at the time but Mark as you're well aware of it also drew some pushback from officials what do they say about Wolstein and the project now I talked to a couple that were involved and were around back then including former Cleveland Councilman Joe Simperman who represented this area in the flats you know, and he told me several stories, including that Wolstein was, a, you know, hard driving, yelled at him more than one time, was not always easy to, diff, to deal with, but he felt that it was that personality that was able to bring this transformation to life and that without that kind of, you know, drive and push and fighting, you know, for these big deals, this would have never happened, Jay. Very good. Mark Namick live tonight on What's New, Mark. Thank you.